So, welcome to One Awesome Autistic, um, the Wednesday video, kind of, I don't know if I can really call this a vlog, because it's not really vlogging like my day, is it? It's just kind of a like, this is me, this is what's been happening in my life. I have to apologise first, because I feel like I've been a little bit quiet recently on the video front, and especially over the Christmas period, I had things planned that I wanted to do, and obviously because it's my life nothing ever goes to plan i'm going through one of those times where and this kind of always seems to happen with me where i just seem to get one thing wrong with me after another it means i have zero energy left for anything else so not long before christmas i had flu that obviously knocked me out so i was just kind of like just really working hard just to keep on top of the basic videos that I put out and then I had my MRI which went wrong so I was kind of like one-handed practically for two weeks because it took ages for this to heal so I got the video done at least of me traveling to I know somebody clicked dislike on the video I don't know if that is to do with the fact that I was traveling and obviously we're in a pandemic However, I was sticking to all the rules that was around at the time. Because I live on my own, we worked it so that I was in my mum's bubble so that I could go home for Christmas. And the trains were fairly empty. I was keeping socially distanced. I wore a mask. I was washing my hands with hand gel and doing everything to keep as safe as possible even to the point where I sat down at a table and two girls sat behind me I couldn't see whether they were wearing masks or not but the way that they were talking it didn't sound like they had actually had masks on so I moved to make sure that I was socially distanced from other people and even when I was actually at my mum's house there was no hugging between family members or anything like that and my mum's house is actually set up in a way that I was able to stay socially distanced from everybody else while I was there. Nobody was showing any COVID signs. If there was any COVID signs, I wouldn't have been going and all those sorts of things. So we tried to keep as safe as possible. I really wanted to do some more filming over Christmas and kind of show you what it's like to be autistic at Christmas. But kind of what happened is being autistic at Christmas and I got completely overwhelmed and I was meant to be staying for a little bit longer and I ended up actually having to come home early because I, on Christmas day alone I had three meltdowns I just could not cope whatsoever so I had to come home I was too overwhelmed it was too noisy I couldn't get any relaxation even going up to my room to be on my own and try and be quiet was not working because the next door neighbours had gone out and they have a dog that had separation anxiety that dog was literally crying and barking and whining the whole time no stops no gaps so i couldn't get any peace and quiet because of where my mum lives there is absolutely rubbish internet so the things that usually calm me down the games that i like to play and the tv shows i like to watch they weren't working so i spent about three hours incredibly frustrated trying to get those things to work so that added to the meltdown as well there was a lot of other things going on but i'm not going to get into everything but basically it, oh, it just all went wrong so i came home early and it took me three days to recover from that and i got some really really nice stuff at christmas i'm really really lucky that i do get a bit spoiled by people at christmas and get bought a fair bit and I know not everybody is as lucky as that so I kind of wanted to show some of the bits that were my favorite things that I got Christmas a lot of them is just small gifts like a lot of chocolates and sweets and things like that that I like but I got some fantastic gifts my boyfriend is amazing at buying presents for me he got me not only things that I asked for and that I really really wanted but things that I'd seen and pointed at and said oh my god I love that and he, he bought them for me but then he'd also bought things that he thought that I would really like and he was spot on. My favourite, favourite thing that I got bought was by him and I'm currently sat on it but it is this blanket that I got. I can't really pull it up to show you but it is a Nightmare Before Christmas blanket. It's got this kind of like shareproof material on it and it is beautifully warm and comfortable and it is so calming. So when I got back from being at my parents and I opened this 
I basically spent two days wrapped in it to help calm me down. So I was really, really pleased with that one. And it's really, really helped me. So I was able to do that and able to do anything around New Year's because I just kept feeling really, really run down. And then the other day, I started with toothache. But the toothache was in like a nerve. So the home of this side of my mouth here, my ear, and my gland underneath was affected. I thought it was an infection. It wasn't got into an emergency dentist, I have some gum disease, I have two teeth, one at the top and one at the bottom that has holes in, they actually need pulling, but I don't have a dentist, I can't get registered with a dentist because no way is taking on because of the pandemic. So I'm having to keep the pain at bay, doing what I can. I've been given some advice by a lovely person in one of the autism groups who's a dental nurse to try and get rid of the gum disease myself at home to try and help with that pain and it is already helping pain's gone and as long as I don't do certain things to aggravate it it's gone so that is all fine so unable to do the videos I want to do there will be a bonus video that I'll try and get out actually on Monday because Monday is my birthday and I'm going to be the grand old age of 36 years old on Monday so I have a few presents so I'm going to do a bit of a vlog that day because I'm also going up to pick up my new spectacles as well so I'm quite excited about that. So I'll do a bonus video for you on Monday and I'll try and get out a normal content video for you guys on Saturday. But that is like all the craziness that's been going on with me recently. I just kind of wanted to use this Wednesday video to update you all. I'm actually filming this on Wednesday. It's nearly 1 o'clock so I've really, really got to get my skates on with editing this and getting it out for the usual time of 6 o'clock. But I'm also really hungry and I really need to eat. So thanks for watching. If you want to see more about my life or want to see more videos from me, hit subscribe. Super grateful for all those who have subscribed, especially a couple of extra subscribers on Christmas Day, which was a nice Christmas present. So thank you guys very much and I shall see you in the next video. Bye for now.